The whole concept behind this, same as the other ones and everything else you'll see in the article, um, is to get those ribs down in front and really help you breathe into the back and to get more of a circumferential breath, both out for the front, the side, to the back, and not just... So remember, you saw up in the article that everybody loves to breathe up into here, up into the anterior neck. So we're just teaching those ribs down and open up the back so you can get breath up into the back as well. So how this is going to work is you're going to get a ball, um, an Arex pad, a mat, a foam roller, uh, something. Or if you don't really have anything to put between your knees, it's not really a big deal. We can just cue your knees together. Um, so you're going to get a squat rack, set it up so that the safety bars are roughly hip height. So I'm going to use this, these black ones right here, and it is roughly about hip height right there. You'll be standing up on the sides of the roller's feet are about hip width apart, and the ball is in between your knees like so. Okay? So we're keeping contact there, feet are about hip width apart. I'm grabbing the squat rack, or in this case, the treadmills, and just like in the other drills, I'm rounding everything out. I'm going to exhale all the way out and sink into the squat. Once I've hold that complete and total exhale for a three count, I'm going to think inhale, but inhale right up into that mid-back region and then exhale again. So we'll do it for a total of four or five breaths, whatever you can muster, and then exhale. Come on up, we're done. It looks like this. So what you'll notice right there is not only at the end, you exhale to really tighten this thing and come back up, but also on the last couple breaths that my back was really opening up just a bit more and more and more as I sank down and really locked down the anterior ribs.